Hello everyone, welcome to DevOps Certification Course with the CAD Guild. In this session video, you will be learning the following key concepts of DevOps. 1. What is DevOps? 2. What do you expect when you work as a DevOps engineer or DevOps professional? 3. What is your employer or team member's expectations from you? 4. What can you expect from your team or companions from your team? Today we are going to discuss about DevOps as a practice and how it fits into the current technology world. But before diving deep into DevOps, let us understand what are the problems faced by various companies and its teams which has led to the evolution of DevOps. Now, let's understand the current software development scenario. Around 10 years back, the software development used to happen by implementing software development lifecycle model called SDLC Waterfall Model. SDLC Waterfall Model was effective and was used for a decade, but it's not relevant in today's world as we have evolved from SDLC Waterfall to Agile Development due to its highly inflexible, uniterable, and unpredictable qualities. Whereas Agile Development Model is extremely flexible and reiterable, which achieves more goals compared to SDLC Waterfall and is more efficient and productive. Now the development team works in Agile and are looking for some tools with Agile at their disposal, which enables them to deploy and develop at the same pace as that of development. Thus, Agile Model lets you to define development into multiple sprints. Similarly, you should be able to release at the end of each sprint. Sprints are very quick in Agile and hence the product is ready in two weeks or three weeks of time. Whatever the sprint cycle is, to achieve the target, you should try to provide an infrastructure where the developers are able to create a quality product by having a closed eye on the product development. Seamlessly, during product release and at the end of each sprint, you should be in collaboration with the development team and operations team to obtain the necessary infrastructure. Now, let us understand what is development team. A development team consists of the people who work towards the product and are responsible for designing, development, verification, and delivery of the product. What is an operations team? An operations team makes sure that the infrastructure used by the development team is stable and it is in place so the servers, build machines, and tools are all available for DevOps to work efficiently, identify the problems quickly, and make an accurate delivery in terms of quality and quantity appreciable by the customers. So we have these two individual streams or individual groups of teams working together. But the main problem here is that there is not enough synergy between these two teams. Sometimes the development team might want to make changes on their servers so that their products can be deployed on the servers or make changes in the tool chain so that the products can be deployed or developed in a different way. But operations team might not want to make changes in the infrastructure as they may not be sure about the infrastructure stability or might not know if the changes that the development team is requesting would impact the product in an adverse way or what might be the cost of the infrastructure. In order to get rid of this particular non-cooperation between the two teams, we try bringing these two teams together and build a synergy called as DevOps. DevOps helps in various frontiers of product delivery. When you are in DevOps, you are supposed to work in the development team as well as with the operations team to ensure that the development teams are capable of producing quality products. How will you accomplish this? Here we go. To accomplish the product quality, perform the following actions. Build continuously. Verify continuously. Release and deploy continuously. Monitor the applications or products continuously. In addition to that, you should also need to play the role from the operations side. As a DevOps professional, you need to do the following tasks. Manage the infrastructure at a very high level, but not to the level of operations team. Provide some sort of automations and virtualizations. All these responsibilities are fulfilled by DevOps professionals so that you can see that these responsibilities are not from development team as they don't want to get into this. 
DevOps team brings the best out of development and operations team and try to solve the problems we discussed. Now, let us see. What are the various technologies or approaches implemented to solve these problems? The first three terms, such as continuous build, continuous verification, continuous release, and deployment, are known with a single term like continuous integration, and this can be achieved using a tool called Jenkins. There are various other tools which helps in achieving continuous integration, but the tool of our choice is Jenkins which we will be learning about in the next video. The versioning process of your project files and codes can be done by implementing Git. This tool enables to keep track of the project history. Next comes continuous monitoring and managing the infrastructure and this can be achieved by Nagios and Puppet respectively. There are other alternative tools for Puppet like Ansible, Chef, etc. You can choose to go with any tools of your choice, but our choice for this DevOps course will be Puppet. Automation is here to fill the gap left behind by the other tools like Jenkins, Git, Nagios, Puppet. And when you need to integrate all these tools with each other, you must write your own automation scripts. Going forward, we will see how Python is going to help in achieving the automation. Last but not the least is the virtualization. How are you going to manage your hardware apart from the physical hardware which is used here? How are you going to manage your microservices like your application or your services which need full-fledged hardware? For these we are going to use non-virtualization concept, i.e. containerization. This is achieved by implementing Gawker. Let's find out in brief what we are going to do in our certification classes. This gives a brief idea on what we are going to learn about in this certification classes. Git, Jenkins, managing our infrastructure as code using Puppet, monitoring using Nagios, automation and containers. Our DevOps certification course comprises of the above mentioned key topics. Stay tuned and continue watching our next videos and get into more details about each of these technical solutions. Why these solutions are required. What is the importance of implementing these solutions. How these solutions help us to achieve the DevOps philosophy in DevOps team. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next video.